From Bill Russell's era to Michael Jordan's dominance to the sustained winning of Tim Duncan, all the way to today with the Brooklyn Nets' Big Three, there have been some powerful trios throughout NBA history. So in this video, I'll be ranking the top 10 Big Threes of all time. Harden, Durant, and Kyrie are one of these historically great pairings, so stick around to see where they rank amongst the greatest trios ever. Right before we get into the ranking, according to YouTube's analytics, 87% of my viewers who tuned in last month aren't subscribed, so please press the sub box and turn on notifications to keep up to date with my videos. Your continued support means the absolute world to me. Of course, we're starting down at number 10 and working our way to the best big three of all time, but first, some honorable mentions to New York's Walt Frazier, Willis Reed and Dave DeBusher, Philly's Moses Malone, Julius Irving, and Mo Cheeks, and Detroit's Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, and Bill Lambeer. The trio of LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love is squarely among the most talented big threes of all time, putting arguably the greatest player of all time, the greatest ball handler ever, and a capable stretch big is a recipe for success. And while, despite only winning one championship, it was against the 73-9 Warriors in 2016, one of the greatest squads ever assembled. In the 2016 playoffs, this overwhelming Big 3 combined for over 66 points, 21 rebounds, and 14.4 assists per game, which is some beastly production coming from three guys on a night-to-night -night basis. Back in the old days, these three ran the NBA. Bill Russell, the greatest defender of all time, Bob Cousy, the so-called Houdini of the hardwood, and Tommy Heinsohn, rest in peace to the man, they all won seven rings together. All three of these players dominated the NBA, as each of them ranked top 20 in the NBA in every single statistic, fueled by the leadership of Bill Russell, the savvy point guard play of Cousy, and the powerful post play from Heinsohn, the Celtics only had three series that went past five games in their entire playoff runs together. Despite the big three playing before our time, they've earned their damn respect. Ranking in at number eight is the core of the fabled 73-9 Warriors. Curry, Thompson, and Green are three-time NBA champions, and not a single championship would have been won without all three of these Warriors beastly impacts on the game. Stephen Curry is of course the greatest shooter of all time and won back-to-back -back MVPs with this trio in action. Klay Thompson is a consensus top three shooter of all time. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile players in history and he won a Defensive Player of the Year award during this stretch. During the 2015 and 2016 NBA seasons, the Warriors trio feasted on the top of the leaderboards. Curry and Clay were ranked first and second in total three-pointers and three-point percentage in the playoffs, while Draymond ranked top 20 in rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks during the playoffs. Of all the big threes listed in this video, these three fit together the best. Draymond and Clay covered for Curry's weak defense, Curry and Draymond covered for Clay's lackluster passing, and Curry and Clay made up more than enough for Draymond's career 31% three point shooting. Hopefully, next season we can see this trio back at it again, and maybe they can make another run at the finals. These three haven't even completed an entire season yet, let alone play an entire postseason together. But the statistics back up the potential of this big three. James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving are the only three players in NBA history to average 25 or more points on the same team. The Beard, the Slim Reaper, and Uncle Drew have a record of 12-1 against teams above 500, and that 93% win rate projects to be the best of all time, even if it isn't sustainable. If this big three wins a championship come the end of this season, then they'll firmly deserve to be ranked here at number seven. But even if this trio somehow finds a way to disappoint, then we can assume that they'll be back at it again over and over, as the Nets gave up too much to make this big three happen to not win a championship. Brooklyn still has a lot to prove, but on paper they could rank much higher depending on how they do in the postseason. We'll see how it all goes towards the end of the 2020-21 NBA season. This next big three is technically the biggest big three on the list, as all three are front court players. Larry Legend, Kevin McHale, and Roe Parrish won three championships together, taking down Moses Malone's Rockets, two top five players of all time in Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and then Hakeem's Rockets. The three Celtics legends are the only trio in NBA history to top a 27 rebound per game average. To put that into perspective, Mikhail Bird and Parrish grabbed over 60% of Boston's boards on their own. 
Pair that with Larry's otherworldly passing and shooting, McHale's unbelievable arsenal of post moves, and Parrish's dominant shot blocking, and you have the best front court of all time. And with how they're currently struggling, the Boston Celtics could really use any one of these legends right now. Sorry not sorry Celtics fans. Next up on the list comes from two of the most dominant players of all time in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson, along with their sidekick James Worthy. During the 80s, this team was head and shoulders above every other team in the NBA. To give you an example, the average effective field goal percentage of the NBA in the 1980s was around 49% and this trio shot nearly 10% above league average in terms of overall efficiency. The unstoppable skyhook of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar got the Lakers easy playoff series wins, including the controversial 1988 NBA Finals Game 6 against the Detroit Pistons, when he was fouled on a skyhook and shot free throws to force a Game 7. Magic Johnson's amazing passing and ability to play all five positions helped the Lakers cruise through the playoffs to five titles. And for the three championship teams that Worthy was on, his numbers speak for themselves. In the playoffs for their three championships, Worthy averaged over 22 points, five rebounds, and three assists. And in 1988, Worthy even won the finals MVP. Overall though, this Big Three's teamwork and chemistry helped them seal the third most championships on this entire list. What do you get when you put the best player in the NBA, the best shooting guard in the NBA, and a prototypical stretch four all on the same team? You get two championships and some of the most dominant stretches in the history of basketball. The Big Three of South Beach was a force to be reckoned with. LeBron James won two MVPs while being a part of the NBA's biggest nightmare with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh by his side. The talent of this Big Three shouldn't solely be based on their numbers while they played together. All three of them had to make massive sacrifices so that the pieces would mesh. Dwayne Wade came off an All-NBA First Team appearance, and Chris Bosh averaged over 24 and 10 before they took on smaller roles to fit with King James. And reducing their roles paid off well as the Miami Heat went to four straight NBA Finals appearances from 2011 to 2014, winning two of four. Overall, the Heat Big Three is one of the few Big Threes in NBA history to have multiple All-NBA First Team members, so as you can tell, this trio was not lacking in the talent department in the slightest. In terms of ability, this trio has an argument for the top spot, however, their losses in the NBA Finals hold them back from number one. Up next is the greatest shooting trio in the history of the NBA, the Golden State Death Squad ruined parody in the NBA from 2017 to 2019. Steph Curry, the greatest shooter of all time, was a one-time champ and a two-time MVP with his sidekick Klay Thompson before Kevin Durant came along. In 2017, the Golden State Warriors almost pulled off the impossible, going undefeated in the tough Western Conference playoffs and nearly going undefeated in the entire NBA playoffs until LeBron James and Kyrie Irving stole a game away from them in the finals. It was more of the same in 2018, with Golden State cruising their way to the number two seed in the West and toying with their food in the postseason, securing their second straight title with a dominant sweep of the Cleveland Cavaliers. But in 2019, things took a turn for the worse. Kevin Durant strained his calf against Houston in the second round and ended up tearing his Achilles in the finals. Klay Thompson tore his ACL come the next season. Curry broke his hand to begin the year. And that was the last we saw of the dominant Golden State trio. If not for injuries, who knows what could have been accomplished. They probably would have never lost in the finals. No single team could stop that much talent. It was pretty insane. The Big Fundamental is one of the greatest players in NBA history and an underrated one at that, but he wouldn't be anything without the great supporting cast placed around him in San Antonio. For the 14 years that Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili were together, they won the Spurs 575 games, an NBA record for any trio, and they also won four NBA titles. They were second in effective field goal percentage and tied for third in offensive rating. These Spurs combined for 14 all-NBA team selections over this stretch, the most of any big three in NBA history. 
Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker, as boring as they played, consistently showed up and got the job done when it was the most important. They could have won five rings if not for a Ray Allen three-pointer in 2013, but their dominance, championship pedigree, and overall cohesiveness as a unit brings them to the number two spot on the list. However, there is one trio that is far and away the best of all time, the greatest player of all time in Michael Jordan, the greatest rebounder of all time in Dennis Rodman, and one of the greatest defenders of all time in Scottie Pippen. The Last Dance Bulls were one of the winningest teams in NBA history. This big three averaged 68 wins over their three seasons together in the regular season and had some of the most iconic plays in NBA playoff history. From the shot to Rodman's incessant rebounding to Jordan's flu game, there are so many great moments to pick out from this big three. Most importantly, they're the only big three on this list to pull off the illustrious three-peat in the modern era. Not much more to discuss about the absolute beastliness of this trio. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed that top 10 and want to see more, it really helps the video spread. You're the best for sticking around. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.